I wanted also to show you that we can actually make coloured flames without either perchlorates or even gunpowder. And here's a, a good example of this. We use, quite commonly, we use nitrocellulose in fireworks. And uh, in this particular case, we are getting a flame which we sometimes, we originally made these for a play in London where they wanted to have a distress flare uh, in the flame, in the play for some reason. And so that's nitrocellulose burning with a bit of strontium carbonate. Nitrocellulose is a very cool burning. I'm not going to hold my hand in it, but you can see it's not particularly hot. And um, it doesn't produce any noticeable smoke, though in fact it's probably producing nitrogen dioxide, <coughs> so not a word to the health and safety. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you can see that it's... Uh, and it burns a long time, and it's really quite effective. And I will come back to that in just a minute before I finish. So those are nitrocellulose colours. And I wanted to also show you a real freak. We, we don't know how it came about, but years ago, probably 19th century, a chemist discovered, really, that uh, the pitch of a special kind from a special process in uh, making beaten up thaw. And he found that if that pitch was burned and nitrated properly, it would produce this quite extraordinary effect. And um, it's unique, and you'll probably never see it again because uh, it's, uh, it's not obtainable anymore. So that really is a special kind of pitch which has been mixed with linseed oil and nitrocellulose and then nitrated with fuming nitric acid which is not, it's somewhere between fuming nitric and bench concentrated and then you will, if you use the right proportions and do it properly, you will get that kind of effect. Uh, I don't think you'll see anything quite like it. I've got still a bit left and I jealously guard it really for doing these lectures. But that really is almost the end of the lecture. And so on this theme of um, indoor fireworks, I just wanted to show you, to finish, one thing. Uh, these fountains that you, I'm showing you now with nitrocellulose, of course, you buy in the shops in order to, uh, and that's terrible. When I do the lecture in some of the colleges and things, they all come and pick that up and they take it about 10 yards and then leave it in the corridor on the floor, <laughs> uh, everywhere. So, not very nice. Uh, Alistair, can I have the basket, please? So, really, as we're almost finished, I'll, I'll finish with this particular little illustration, very useful in church on, uh, on Christmas or Easter. So, here's a... Here's an indoor thing for you. Not, that smoke isn't the nitrocellulose, that is in fact the um, titanium that's burning and probably other things as well. It's quite impressive at Christmas Day for children and church, actually. So, and the theme, of course, was light.